Okay, so I was talking to my brother Ferd this week and we were talking about legends. Greg Wojciechowski, as I like to call you the great Wojo. That, that was your, that was your like your gimmick for a while in W. First in, in, wrestler days, yep. yep. Yeah, so we were talking, you are the only wrestler in the history of the United States to place in four decades of the U.S. Open. Yep, yep. That's incredible, right? Yeah, I made a comeback when I was 41. And it was Didn't you have to wrestle your son, Chad, and you forfeited to him? Oh, no, no. Uh, he, he's 220 and I was younger. So, so you guys didn't have to wrestle? No, yeah, we just did a father and son activity. Nice. Yeah. So when, when you look at this, you know, you're one of the all-time greats in NCAA wrestling. You're NCAA finalist three times? Three times, yeah. So you're yeah, champ once. once. Yep. So you lost to Chris Taylor in NCAA finals. Yeah, 460 pound Chris Taylor, yeah. That's crazy. How many U.S. national teams did you make? I made uh, two, two, uh, two freestyle world teams, and I was on four uh, World Cup teams freestyle. And then you were 1980 Olympian. We yeah. boycotted. Right. I won the national tryouts freestyle and Greco, and I made the team in freestyle. So, you know, when I talk to legends, it's pretty incredible. You placed at the U.S. Open as a 16-year-old, didn't you? 17, I think. 17, 17 years 17, old, you yeah. placed at the U.S. Open. Yeah. Toledo no longer has wrestling. You're a Toledo native. You went to Whitmer. And now you look at it, you know, they don't have wrestling there. And I, and I think, personally, they could do really well Luke, uh, recruiting locally. Oh, Kent State's good. done a fabulous job over here. Cleveland State, you know, hopefully yeah. they can they can get to the level of Kent State. But obviously Ohio State's in the team race here. What's it like to come back as a legend and, and watch wrestling be, a, you know, kind of a, a weight bearer for the N6? What's it like for you? Well, it feels good. I was, uh, usually I don't come to these kind of things, but I, I'm representing Ohio high school wrestlers, also the University of Toledo. Harry Lance, who's an NCAA champ, 51, he's died. So I feel I'm happy I'm rep representing the University of Toledo. Dick Torrio, Dick Wilson, Joe Scalzo. How much has wrestling evolved from when you wrestled in the 70s and the 80s in the World Cup, you know, in Toledo, and then you made world teams, Olympic teams? How much has this evolved from you watching it now to when you were an NCAA champion in the you know, 60s and 70s? Well, I think it's evolved a lot, especially in the middleweights. Maybe not so much in the heavyweights, the middleweights. A lot, a lot more technique. You see that claw and the tilts, and, you know, tilts from top in high school and college wrestling. You know. Are you mad that they now make guys weigh in at 285? It's no longer unlimited. Does that make you mad a little bit? I don't know if I'm mad, but I, I, it, it'd been nice if they'd done that. You know, you see Snyder has a little trouble with the guy from Michigan, uh, uh, Coon from Michigan. He's, you know, he's a lot bigger than Snyder. And, uh, I, I, I tell people that's why I had trouble with Chris Taylor, 460 pound Chris Taylor. They can understand it better now. You got the greatest, the greatest big man in the world is having trouble with the guy from Michigan. It's a big guy. So you look at it, you know, you were more like a Kyle heavyweight, right? You would, you would, yeah. you'd have been a little bit bigger than him, though. Yeah, I was 250. 250. I, I could have, could have been on three Olympic teams if they had the, the weight limit. The two, 213, 211 weight. You probably could have cut. Oh, no, the two. I'd have been, I'd have been, uh, if I'd have been two, if they'd have been 285. I could have been on three Olympic teams. Three Olympic teams? Yeah, because Chris Taylor beat me in the freestyle ink record in 72. So the unlimited kind of kind of got you there, too, didn't sure. it? Sure. In uh, 76, was Pete Lee was 385 pounds, and uh, Jimmy Jackson about 380. And I beat them both in uh, 1980, though. How much do you love wrestling? How much has the sport done for you in life? Oh, it's done a lot for me in life. I love it. I love hanging out with high school wrestlers. and I'm, I'm the booster. Booster now at the Bowser Wrestling, and I, I enjoy it. You told me a story about getting gut wrenched in Savage Hall. I want to say it was your Regan who was who was gut wrenching you. Your Regan. Tell me Regan. the story about your Regan gut wrenching you in your hometown, well, in front of your home crowd. What'd you do? He gut wrenched me. And he had a full Nelson. A full Nelson was really what really hurt. I had two short shoulders today. Talking about it. I didn't want to go over. I didn't want to play dead in Toledo. So he was ripping me that full Nelson, but I didn't go over. You didn't go over. No. <laughs> but you probably need two shoulders. Yeah, no, no kidding. Yep, yep. When you look at the the level of, you know, the Russians were just coming up and getting really good when you were when you were international wrestling, what's changed? What have they done when well, you watch them? The, the Russians were superior because they were professional athletes. Now, we, you know, our wrestlers can make some money. They're on a national team. They get a, they make bonus money. It's the playing field is even now. When I wrestled, it wasn't even. You were a teacher raising a family, yeah, trying to part-time train, right? I was a teacher. I worked weekends at roadway loading, 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 loading trucks, and then I wrestled when I could. So when we talk about all-time big men in Ohio, your name comes up. We, we put you oh, at the top. You. The Miller family does. Oh, well, thank Everybody you. Everybody yeah. says Tommy Rollins. We got, you know, we, you know. But we talk to the state of Ohio, you know, Luke Fickle's name comes up. And never really, nobody ever talks about Greg Wojciechowski, but one of the all-time greats. Greg, yeah. you got anything else for me? Uh, that's about it. I remember your grandpa, though. Your grandpa was tough, too. Papa Ferd? No, Clay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Tom. Tom. My dad's my, Tom's my dad. Tom. Oh, Tom's your dad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. and then Ferd was Tom his was dad. tough. Yeah. 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 Awesome, Greg. Hey, thanks for the time. Enjoy All the right. wrestling tonight, and it's great to catch up with you. Thanks. All right, thank you.